Hello and welcome to the Complete SketchUp Guide. This is Brandon, and in this lesson I go through 10 top things to be thinking about to make your SketchUp modeling and SketchUp career greater. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And if you like this content, please like and subscribe. These are a list of some things I think will really help you go further much faster as you are learning SketchUp, as you are starting to use it. It'll make you more effective as you keep in mind some of these ideas and also find out similar ideas that could really help you be more productive, make better models, and so on. First tip is start with basic profiles and masses. This can't be said enough because the idea is even the most complicated forms start with simple geometry or simple ways of doing it. So why start in a very complex way when you could start very simply and you could work your way back? It, whereas if you start super complex, it's hard to go back. You have to restart from the from scratch. It's, it's the same thing as writer's block and it's still useful in SketchUp. S just start with basic profiles, basic masses, basic geometry, and then just build up from there. Use groups. This is something I always do because st SketchUp stickiness while helping you make some unique geometries and so on, it, it's useful at the beginning of a project, but if you don't make groups, Sooner or later, you'll have to come back and edit, and you'll have to select the surface again. And it's just easier to start by using groups and using groups even more than layers. Um, I think groups are definitely more effective. So, obviously, this is if you're making a building, you know, your walls are one, your floors are one, uh, but your, your trees are one. But this could be with furniture if you're making one part for the seat, one part for the structure or you know however you're doing if you're doing different types of furniture or different configurations using groups uh, can work and also with layers but use those ways so you can organize your model uh, more effectively use working views now this is critical because uh, I've I put down some some views that were really useful for me uh, in industry work but the idea is whatever you're doing there are some views that could really help you and Go to your uh, animation menu where you can make it into a scene and you can go back and forth. You can take away the transition, but thinking about something like the whole view, seeing everything, having a view that you want to render, or reference view where you can just see what's going on in your model, maybe a detail view, and then your top-down view. Of course, you can use the built-in views, but make sure that you have a control of your model because you don't want to lose yourself in your model. Next one is be precise. So I put some ideas about your precision, um, but the concept is that you can get things really close. You can use your points to um, the inference points if you're moving things. You can have a clear size, a precise size. You can also scale things precisely. SketchUp allows you to do that, and it's if you're just you know just making something really quick you might not have to use as much but the inferences are there to help you be fast with that so you know having different uh, dimensions knowing exactly where things are you know just pretty simple you know like how long does it take to attach to a particular point or put in a meter or three meters and it will be much beneficial down the road the next tip is use and reuse components now, this is so powerful because why just continuously remake new things? It's it's cool to have custom parts, but you know if you make a really good component, you can just use that again and again. For this course, I made some new components, but when I'm using my work, I I reuse a lot of components, and I find good ones on the 3D warehouse or in different groups, and you can use that you know just like for walls or for doors or windows, for furniture, roof mirrored forms, arrayed forms, you know, the idea is the component helps you control your model and it helps you get further because you can use things rather than remaking them again. Remaking things can take a lot of time. Next is testing your imports before placing them in your model. Um, this is really important because it helps you make sure you get uh, something that's really good quality. So you're inspecting your import. You can adjust the scale, you know, make it so it's 
fitting to what your use is and then you can customize it and you can also edit that import in a separate file and finally from this is you can use that import again and again and you could just change that basic file and whenever that updates you can always update the the reference in the file so keeping it separate for certain objects is very effective next we want to think about creating a support folder and this is simply just thinking about how you organize what you're working on um, the support folder essentially you think where you have your main sketchup file which I would not recommend saving to desktop make a folder where you have your sketchup file maybe you save it as a version if you're um, editing it again and again you want to have a support folder that has where your materials and things you want to import in. Then you want to have an output folder where you have your renders and different things you're exporting. And then you want to have a template folder where you can have like useful setups, maybe views that are already set up. You can just use that again. Maybe you have different libraries for um, different types of things that you want to use um, for many projects. You can do that by having a support folder and having a good structure. Next utilize valuable plugins this is so critical I think you need to understand that there are plugins that are already part of SketchUp because they were so good but there are some other ones out there so I recommend taking a look at the extension warehouse um, there's a lot of free things there are paid things but there's a lot of free things so I definitely would take a look and there's also free trials uh, if you want to do things like rendering or energy working on different types of geometry estimation um, there's even, of course, for scripting your own, there's some plugins. So take a look at that and find the best ones that work for what your purpose is. Next, you'll really benefit from finding the most valuable resources. This is critical because it's it's easy to just really struggle with a problem sometimes because it's so easy to use SketchUp. But having good courses, good books, or good forms and community to help you figure out new things is something that could be really helpful and so you know you never know when you're just trying to do something quicker um, taking some time learning it your own trying out but there's also some great purpose in finding different resources and one thing I would say for sure is make sure that you are even um, just you know keeping your own particular notebook and that will hit my next top 10 is you keep learning new techniques so this is just keep playing around with it don't give up on it if something's hard there's an ability to figure things out again try new things share your work with others get their opinion look at their work and give your opinion as well um, then if you're you know working at this in your school your work if it's your company you know try new different things I learned a lot of the things that I do because there was someone who tried something or I was trying it and you just become really fast and creative. That's one powerful thing about SketchUp. It doesn't get in the way of you being creative. And of course, we play this course. Um, this is a fundamental guide for SketchUp. I've made a certification course. I think find out what other things are out there. I'll put some links in, in my site. But if you want to be really good, you're going to keep going on. And this will make you excellent at using this and other software. And finally, uh, it's actually, this is number 10. You should just have fun with SketchUp. SketchUp is an incredible software. And if you keep some good strategies and concepts in mind, it'll make your modeling days incredibly effective. Congrats on finishing this lesson. Do you have any questions? or anything that needs to be clarified, just leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. This has been a lesson of the Complete SketchUp Guide. You can find the next link in the links below. Also, you can go to our channel for more great content. This has been Brandon with MotionForm. MotionForm is about architecture, innovation, and parametric design, helping you become the best designer. Thanks for watching. If you do like this content, please like and subscribe. I appreciate the love.